We are here with Richard Marks, and this is his song right here waiting. And I have to say, he has an absolutely gorgeous voice. And you're going to send me a reaction to this in just a few seconds. But before we do, you might notice the format is going to be a little bit different. And that's because this was filmed live on my Twitch. And as always, a friendly reminder to please like and subscribe. And with that said, let's go. For some reason, I was thinking Alone by Celine Dion for that opening piece. I think I know this. Not well, but... Oceans of I don't. And I slowly go Repeat of what? Wait! Whoa! 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 What? What? And I slow what? Oh, is that the name of his album or something like that? I was like, wait, what? Um. Also, he has a beautiful freaking voice, but I'm having. I I'm assuming I might know the chorus, but I don't know the rest of the song because I'm not actually familiar with the song. But it's like that first portion that he plays on the piano sounds very familiar so let's just continue and see um but so far he has he has a very beautiful soft delicate voice day after day and I slowly go insane I hear your voice on the line but it doesn't stop Okay, he's also got like a little bit, um, sometimes when he kind of pushes his voice more forward, you can hear almost like a tiny, tiny bit of kind of like a vocally fry almost kind of sound, which is nice because it gives it a little bit texture. Um, but I don't know this song, but there are portions of it. I don't know if maybe a band has taken this song um, and kind of done some stuff with it. If that makes sense, like taking portions of it, because sometimes people take portions of songs and then integrate it into their song and make it new, but not new. This is going to be a horrible example, but um, kind of like what um, I think it was Cardi B with. No, not Cardi B. I can't remember. It's the Anaconda song. Because there's that song that's like, Anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hun. You know, there's that original song. But then they took that clip and brought it into their song and then did something with it. Can't remember who the artist was for that song. But and, and I just not, I'm not comparing that at all to this song here. I'm just saying, I don't know if maybe they've taken portions of this song and used it somewhere else because it really sounds familiar. It's kind of like when your brain thinks that it knows the name of something, but it's like on the tip of your tongue, but you don't know whose name it is, you know? It's that type of feeling, but I feel like I'm not gonna get like, I'm not going to remember the name because it's like, maybe there's portions of this taken somewhere. Anyways, um, I'm enjoying this. This is bootyful. Um, and, uh, it's, it's a, oh, it's a classic love ballad and it's just, I'm, I'm living for it. I'm living for it. <laughs> I dig it. I took for granted all the times that I thought would last somehow. I hear the laughter, I taste the tears, but I can't get near you now. Oh, can't you see? Let me go. 
Okay, one know. other thing one other thing I want to say too is that um how he kind of like ends a lot of his um a lot of the lyrics um is very like breathy. Waiting for you. Like it's it's it uses like Obviously, he's still singing, but he puts, like, a lot more of that kind of breathy sound into it. So it starts off kind of like just his regular type of clean vocals. And then he, like, slowly decrescendos it into, like, with breathiness. And then he'll go to the next lyric and it'll happen again. And it's really pretty. And, I mean, and for this song especially, like, that brings some more intimacy into the the singing itself. Um. And I'm also just thinking of that clip where the girls are at the door and I'm like, I don't blame them. I'm like, he's pretty cute. He's pretty cute. I'm like, and he can sing and like, he's singing about love. I'm like, I get it. I get it, girls. I get it. I get it. Uh, but it's also interesting, the lyrics of kind of talking about how they didn't, it's kind of that, that, thing that happens where you kind of don't know what you have until it's gone um and but it's 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 beautiful to to hear kind of like a song kind of recognizing that and then not necessarily like expecting like oh i've learned my lesson you can come back now but kind of just like you know what I get what happened. You go live your life. Um, you're in my heart. But, like, I know it's technically right here waiting. Probably not the healthiest thing to wait. But at the same time, it's kind of just, like, no pressure, girl. So, I also quite dig the lyrics. I'm like, cool, cool. Cool, cool. Um, let's continue this. But I mean, it's always like everyone's kind of fantasy, you know? Nice! You know? We've got torn apart, but we love each other. We're waiting and we'll be together again one day. Has that that epic love storyness to it. Stockholm. You've got me going crazy. I was about to be like, that's in Sweden. Sing that right to the camera. Is this all in? It's also really beautiful to like see him with like his fans and stuff like that and um waiting for you booty fall a classic love ballad right there he's got a beautiful voice richard marks boo t full um i like the softness i like the uh the breathiness that he added to some of the lyrics because obviously it's a intimate kind of soul revealing type of song um and uh i also wait did I say interesting lyrics already? Because I need to say that as well. Um, and also just like, I do like 
especially in that lap that last portion there where he had like that belt moment um you could definitely hear more of that kind of like vocal fryness just a bit you know kind of put into the voice um and it sounded great it sounded great so heck yeah heck yeah bud um i hope that you enjoyed this music reaction if you did like this um please hit the like button hit the subscribe if you want to see more and uh yeah i will see you in the next video bye